the improv theaters here in Detroit. Uh, the other uh, 51 weeks of the year, not just during the Detroit Improv Festival, uh, you can go to Pointless uh, Improv Theater and Brewery out in Ann Arbor. show tonight. Uh, check that out the rest of the year. There are a lot of great places to see improv. Uh, now also, uh, I'm going to thank a couple uh, more of our sponsors for the evening. Uh, and just clap real hard like you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's hear it for Level 1 Bang! Level 1! Uh, you, you can do better than that. Let's hear it for the Ford Law Firm! Of communication. I got a thumbs up. That means my time is done. Uh, please welcome your second troop of the evening from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Big baby. So what you're 
you're saying is you're upset with the current situation. Yes. Why didn't you return my email then? Um, I'm kind of busy. Okay, I've been collecting dolls up and down the countryside. I need to find ones with special talents, one that can ride a little bicycle, one that isn't afraid of a big lion, one that has a big hat and can be like, I'm just wearing the dream. Hey, is that the commercial that's all about the balloons and cloak and the cloak? Yeah, it is. I'm not a liar. <laughs> But you are the kind of person that's only going to make a stink when it affects you directly. Um, that's exactly right. I'm a self-interested dull circus proprietor. <laughs> we all know them. Yeah, we're familiar with the type of person. I make no bones about it. Again, I'm not a liar. <laughs> well, you heard of Bernie's, your famous doll circus ring. Circus proprietor! <laughs> <laughs> well, then you understand how I feel here. This is my business. I'm a laundromat proprietor. You're using all your own machines. <laughs> this is a terrible business model. <laughs> this would be like if I was the only person sitting in the audience at my golf circus. <laughs> a preposterous dog. <laughs>
in every bedroom of my apartment complex. <laughs> It seems terrible. <laughs> three, like, three nights a week? You scheduled it out? Nice. Fucking freak. Wait, <laughs> three nights in every bedroom? Yes. Or three nights in every bedroom? I didn't hear you. Oh <laughs>
three nights a week in both of your bedrooms, and you guys are more worried about the mail? I actually have, yeah. <laughs> At this point, I've processed it. Got my quilts being washed. My <laughs> hair seems broken. All of, his, all of his sexual passion has gone into email writing. <laughs>
have a thing to do. Do you know how difficult it's going to be for me to get one race? She has to foot out of that cloak and fly away. To be fair, it feels, hard. Like, it feels like this is what's the hard part of the fire pit. A lot of the surgeons are engineers for the jizz thing.